Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which is all about how I put together my outfits. Right, so first things first, and this isn't necessarily a step into creating my outfits, it's more so like the preparation beforehand. So one of the most valuable things that I ever did was create for myself a very cohesive wardrobe where pretty much everything within this wardrobe can be mixed and matched with each other. Now, those of you who are familiar with my style will also be familiar with my color palette, which I know won't be to everyone's taste. My style in general probably won't be to everyone's taste. It's very minimal, it's hugely made up of very core kind of basic pieces. That's why they're really easy to mix and match with each other. And of course, my color palette involves a lot of neutrals, navies, and a massive amount of black. <laughs> but you know what personal style is? personal, it's unique to the individual and it's got to suit your lifestyle and also it has to reflect a certain amount of your personality and it's down to just taste what you like, what tickles your pickle. I also think the organisation of a wardrobe also really helps when it comes to putting things together, putting outfits together. So my wardrobe is all organised by category and then by colour. This method of organization might not work for everyone, but for me personally, I just find that that makes it even easier because I have, I have a very visual kind of mindset when it comes to putting outfits together. So for me, that is what works best. Right, so that is essentially like step number one. This isn't really a steps video, but that's essentially point number one is having that cohesive wardrobe and getting your organization nailed so that it makes it really easy to put together outfits. But point number two is inspiration. Yes, I know I bang on about Pinterest a lot, but for me personally, it is a very valuable tool when it comes to outfit inspiration and to a degree outfit prep, because you have the ability to save and create boards and have sort of everything all in one place, along with the ability to be able to browse. And of course, there is a lot of inspiration on Pinterest. And it's not just outfits either. You can get inspiration for outfits from anywhere. It could be nature, art, interiors, it, literally anything. Anything that inspires you, you look at, you see a colour combination or you see a texture or something that you just find visually appealing. I save all of those kind of things into one board and I'll usually create those boards for every sort of season and I'll adjust them as I go along the way. Now something else that I'll also pop on this Pinterest board and I will additionally have a little album in my photo reel on my phone as well. And these are just saved outfits that I've already worn. Now for those of you who aren't used to obviously having your photo taken, perhaps you just don't have an entire reel of photos of your outfits because you don't necessarily share them online. What you can do is just take a very simple mirror selfie or it could even be a flat lay of an outfit that you've already worn and I say this because I think as society we have had it very much drilled into our heads through the fashion industry over the years that it's a bit of a cliche to wear the same outfit twice it's not there's nothing better than wearing the same outfit twice. By all means, you could tweak it, change it up a little bit, swap out the shoes, swap out the bag, change your hair or your makeup. Even if it was the exact same outfit though, there's absolutely nothing wrong with re-wearing what you own. And this is something that I'm still guilty of myself as well. I still like to shop, although granted a lot less than what I used to, especially in my 20s but I'm now trying to change my ways as well, looking at my outfits that I've already worn and thinking, do you know what? That was an awesome outfit. I am gonna wear that a lot more. Now also sticking with inspiration and prep, one thing which I also think is really good to do is get to know and become familiar with color schemes that you really like. So I'm gonna touch again on the three color rule in the next little point that I'm gonna talk about, which is the recipe for me putting together my outfits. But essentially, it's getting to know those colors which work really well for you. I believe in each individual feeling confident and comfortable, most of all, in what you're wearing. So if you're experimenting with colors and you just find a kind of color scheme, whether it be navy and camel, whether it be all black, 
whether it be a monochrome look, whether it be a mix of certain neutrals. I would just get to know, familiarize yourself with those kind of color schemes and then just make a mental note of them. Again, you could do a little flat lay, you could write a little NIST on your phone, whatever it may be, because knowing those color schemes work for you will make it so much easier for the next step, which is the recipe for how I put together my outfit. When it comes to me getting dressed in a morning or sometimes it's an afternoon, depending on what's going on and what we're up to for that day, there won't necessarily be a certain like piece that I start off with. Sometimes the first item that I think of that I want to wear, and it will be based on any number of factors, my mood, where we're going, the weather obviously plays a massive part, but it won't necessarily be every time I go to create an outfit, I will start with, X, I'll start with trousers or coat. It won't necessarily be that same item every time. Sometimes I start with shoes and then build the outfit up from the shoes. But there are a few, I don't wanna call them rules, but a few of my own personal guidelines that I kind of live by when I go forward with putting together an outfit. So the first of those is all about my personal style in general. And my style is very much a mix of casual and not so casual or smart, if you wanna call it. So my number one rule is to always offset the casual with the not so casual. For example, if I was wearing a pair of jeans, which I would put in the casual category, I would then want to dress that up and add in at least one piece of tailoring. So whether it be a blazer, or at the moment, because the weather's a bit naff, it could be a coat, or it could be a shirt. And the opposite goes as well for if I was wearing a pair of tailored trousers, there I have my smart element. So then I would probably team those with trainers, which is the slightly more casual footwear choice. And then of course there is the three color rule, which if you didn't catch that five ways to always look chic video, I'll quickly explain it to you now. It is three colors. <laughs> Three colours within an outfit does exactly what it says on the tin. Now, I don't use this guideline as an absolute, I must stick to this, but it is something which I find really useful when I am looking into my wardrobe and putting together outfits. And I just find that those outfits that do stick to the three colour rule, I just feel more comfortable and confident in. And I just feel like I look a little bit more put together and less fussy if that makes sense. And then finally, dressing for comfort. It is my, it's, it's my life motto, if you will. All throughout my 20s, I definitely went through so many different phases. I wore an array of color. I, uh, an array of color is probably an understatement. I wore a lot of color. That was like my experimental phase. And I wore a lot of prints. I wore every trend that ever came out every season. I more than likely dabbled in it at some point. And now that I'm in my 30s, I just feel like those days are long gone and all I want now is comfort. Comfort, comfort, comfort. Okay, so once I've put together the sort of base, if you will, of the outfit or the main part of the outfit, I then move on to adding my accessories. And this generally for me is always a last step. So usually I will start off with adding in my jewelry. And admittedly, over the last few months, I have been quite lazy with lockdown and whatnot. I feel like the whole situation in the world has probably changed a lot of people's outlooks on things. I know that it's definitely had an impact on my style. I used to love layering, especially when it came to necklaces. I would love layering necklaces. And I've kind of moved away from that now. I'll usually only wear a maximum of two necklaces. Some days I don't even wear a necklace. Like today, I just feel like this jumper is quite high and chunky and I just don't feel like I really need a necklace. So I have definitely evolved in the way of my jewelry style and I'm now moving into a lot more of like a minimal phase I would say and my jewelry is very much reflecting that. I actually do feel that style is forever evolving. I don't feel like you ever get to a point where you're like this is my style, nothing else. I do feel like it does generally evolve even if just in a small way and it'll evolve with your lifestyle, your age, it'll evolve with so many different things. Once I've done jewelry I'll then look at what sort of bag I need for the day and this will again depend on many different factors. What I need to carry, where we're going, 
practicality also has an element within there as well. And when it comes to choosing the colorway of that bag, I'll then go back to that three color rule, assess the colors which I have on, and then match the bag accordingly. Now, as you guys know, I do favor a bit of black here and there, here and there and everywhere, to be quite honest. So the majority of the time, there would always be one element of black within my outfit. I say the majority of the time, don't go and look on my Instagram and point out all the ones that don't involve any black, but the majority of the time, there would be an element of black within there. So that's why, for anyone that asks, I have a very large amount of black hand bags because I just find that black is versatile, it's practical, and it's also a really good color when it comes to reselling as well because it is the most popular color choice for handbags. And then finally, because we are in the autumn winter phase of the year, I would move on to the warm weather goods. So hat, scarf, gloves, whatever. And as I did with a handbag and also with shoes, I would go to that three color rule and kind of assess from there. Now the three color rule, just as an additional note, is really easy for me to do because going back to point number one, it's all about having that cohesive wardrobe. So I have a lot of beige, I have a lot of white trainers, I have a lot of black. So it's really easy to kind of intermingle those colors to create those three color rules. Right, there we go, guys. That is my thought process, essentially, on how I go about putting together my outfits. I hope that kind of satisfied those of you that have asked me that question over the years. Hope you found it useful in some way. If you've got any questions or comments or whatever, do leave them down in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.